a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. Hello guys, there welcome to my sports hard gaming channel. The world and his wife have got France a great versus to be Croatia. Here for a match of great Old consequence match. and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Croatia. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. So it's down to business here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? The exciting Ivan Perisic. Uh, tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move clear of attention. And he's always looking to... And Bappe has a shot! Danger averted for now. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Perisic needed to come up with a better ball. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. He's had a go! Oh, extraordinary. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Modric, Teresic, Kovacic, Tramaric, Rebic, he'll hit it! Rebic quickly realised that he could have a pop, not his best. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Pavar, that's a good ball to big chance! A real chance and a real let off. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Kovacic. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Mbappe. 
Pogba. Conte. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Griezmann. Has a goal! Perisic. Modric. Vashelko. Vashelko drives it forward. Conte. Rafael Baran. Havar. Pogba. Hernandez. Havar. And it's Pogba. He's gone for it! Hernandez. Oh, good take in a good area. Mbappe gets flagged offside. Keeper sends it forward. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Croatia get it back again. Griezmann. Havar. France disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Kante tries to clear. Kovacic gets it back. There's a long ball. Loris can claim that. Rafael Varan. Pavar tries to get it forward quickly. Brozovic. Clears it out of harm's way. Hoists it forward. Michelko. Kramaric. Done very well to intervene. And the first half is done. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. An engrossing half. But we're still where we started, nil-nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. France clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Surely! And here's Griezmann. Samaric. Vida. And they've been caught out here. Hits one! I think that's offside. Yes, it is.
Livakovic gets it upfield. Kimpembe. And it's Griezmann. Conte. Hernandez. It's come through. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Mbappe. Benzema. Mbappe. Rabio. Receives it. Benzema has a goal. He's missed, but not by that far. Good effort. Very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though <laughs> Tramaric Kovacic and it's played forward and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. And the shot! And he's straight offside. You can hear the annoyance in the crowd. The frustration is growing. Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's Perisic. Gets away from his opponent. Perisic. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Away from immediate danger. That's a throw. Griezmann. And here's Benzema. Griezmann. And here's Benzema. It's Benzema! And the follow-up! In it goes! They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. Livakovic reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. France break the deadlock. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. And here's Perisic. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be outmuscled. Keeps everyone guessing. In towards the middle. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And it's Benzema. Rabio. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, he's an elusive customer. He can get between the lines and behind them, so he must be more closely marshaled like that. Has a hit! Another 
chance. Goes for goal. He has done it. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Things starting to look very comfortable. Vlasic. Rebic. Looking to force his way through. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Rebic simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. In with a header! Modric... Tremorich has a goal! Griezmann can hoist it clear. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Rebic. Rebic! It's in! And what a climax we have here! Croatia give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Rabio goes looking. And here's the chance to counter. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Modric. He's got options out wide. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. And it's Modric. Croatia to make one last surge forward. And that is it. The equaliser just wouldn't come. It is over. Now, whatever the Thank you so much the for side, watching. It was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Richard, how do you reflect on what we've seen?